Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The way Chelsea Munya Brad sees her position as the head of the Department of Agriculture isn't political. I don't consider myself a political appointee. I had nothing to do with any of the gubernatorial campaigns. Instead, she claims her credentials as a small scale farmer for nearly a decade makes her the right fit for the job. I started raising chickens with my two young sons, primarily because I wanted to grow our own, or have our own eggs. Speaking to Rotarians about her first month in office, the acting director admits the five divisions spanning from animal control to marine and wildlife conservation could do more. Like most government agencies, procurement and hiring were the top two issues. Um, but more so than that, I saw that there was a lot of our mandates that we weren't fulfilling. In line with the governor's platform, Munya Brett's focus is on producing meat here on island. I've met with a couple of livestock farmers already, and I think that that absolutely has growth potential. Um, I don't know if it's, well, I do know. I don't think that in the first few years we're going to see anything where we're exporting meat anywhere. But what we can do is develop that industry enough to where we're providing meat locally. Thinking mobile slaughterhouses as one solution to a major concern. I know for a long time we've been told that we can't do livestock or meat processing here because we need a USDA regulator on site. I also know that there are ways around that. Meat that is currently imported to Guam is stamped with a USDA sticker. Without an inspector, local meat will not be USDA approved. But she says they can have safety regulations in place. Aside from a lively livestock industry, she wants to plant sustainable community gardens and fruit bearing trees at all government agencies. We need to have fruit bearing trees, fruit bearing bushes, plants growing and it can't just be this message that we're sending out constantly about living a healthier lifestyle, grow your own food, buy locally, but then the government's not doing anything to support that idea. We should be the example. The head of the Department of Agriculture is weary of possible food shortages as Guam depends heavily on imports, though she's eager to think of creative, sustainable solutions. I think what guides me is just knowing what the potential of this department is and seeing the skilled people who work there. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.